today we're going to take a look at the Bryant T6 programmable thermostat. To access the controls, you'll first need to open the front cover. There's a few buttons I want to highlight from the start. You'll find the schedule button at the top left. You can adjust if you want to follow your schedule, put it on hold, or change to vacation just by simply pushing that button. You can change your fan to on. Auto simply means your fan will only run when your system is calling for heating or cooling. If you want your fan to circulate all the time, you'd simply push that button once and it'd drop down to on. Mode, currently the system is set to cool, but if you select the mode button, you have emergency heat, heat, and off, and you can also have it set so the system decides which heat and cooling it uses. As of right now, we're going to leave it to cooling. With the T6 thermostat, you first need to set your clock and calendar settings. Let's take a look at how that's done. You first push set, and now you'll see clock is listed. Down at the bottom, you'll see the time that's listed. There's a box around the minutes. That means you are adjusting the minutes on the time. If you want to move to hours, you simply push the button that's below the hours. Now I can adjust that up or down. Once you've set that, push set, now you're on to the calendar. Month is simply up or down. You want to select the day. You push the button under days. Now you can move that up and down. If you want to change the year, push the button under the year and up and down. Those are just fine, so I'm going to push set. Now that that is set, we can move on to your daily schedule. With the T6 thermostat, you have the option of setting all seven days the same, a 5-2 schedule, which is the five work days, two weekend days, and then you can also set each day individually if you'd like. So you'll see on the left side, you have all the seven days of the week listed. If you want to switch to a 5-2 schedule, you simply push the button that's under the weekdays and now you'll see just the five weekdays listed. This way we are setting only a schedule for Monday through Friday. You'll see there's four different settings here. Wake, day, eve, and sleep. Wake is controlling when you wake up at the beginning of the day. Day is often when you're away at work. Eve is when you would return back home. And sleep is throughout the night. So let's say we want to wake up, we're going to say at 6 o'clock, just as it's set. We want it to be 72 degrees for heating, and our setting point for air conditioning is 74. During the day, however, while we're away at work, which is, begins at 8 o'clock, we want that heating set point to taper off a bit. We're going to leave it at 68, and we're going to change that to 80. When we return home from work, which would be 5 o'clock, we're going to leave it at 72 degrees uh, for heating, and our cooling set point would be 76. If I wanted to change either of those settings, I simply push the button underneath whichever one I want to change and use the up-down arrows to make that change. Looking at sleep, we've got it set up for 10 o'clock. We want it a little cooler. Uh, during during heating season and we're leaving it at 77 uh, during cooling season. Now that we've set the work week, we want to set the weekends. You simply push the days again and now you'll see Saturday and Sunday are available. We have the same options. We can do wake, day, eve, and sleep. If you don't want to have as many adjustments throughout the day, you still will have the settings to make. But if you just want to have a wake and then a sleep, you can change each one, wake, day, and eve 
to match your same heating and cooling settings and then adjust it for sleep. Then you can push set. Now I'm going to go back to show you that you can set each individual day differently. Now you'll see Monday, there's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then Sunday. So the T6 has that capability of adjusting each day separately, but most are going to use the seven day or five and two. Now that we've programmed our schedule and we have our heating and cooling settings, now we could, in fact, change it and let the system decide what we want the heat and cool to do. That way if you're in the season in the fall or spring where you may need a little cooling during the day, but at night you might actually need heating, you can allow that to happen. You can also turn off your system, but still keep the fan running by turning it to on if you just want circulation. I'm going to turn it back to auto. and keep it on heat cool. Should I find that I come to the home and for some reason I want to adjust the temperature but I don't want to um, change the schedule, I can simply put it to hold and change my cooling. I want the cooling really hot. We want it, to, for some reason, to be down to 73 degrees today inside. We'll put that on hold, and it'll stay on hold until you change it back to follow schedule. I can also put a temporary hold on the system, and I can do that by simply adjusting the heating and cooling right now. So I'm going to adjust the cooling down, and you now see temporary hold I put it at two hours. I'm going to adjust it down to 72 degrees, but I don't need it for a full two hours. So I'll push the button underneath the hours, and I only need an hour. Now I push done, and now you see there's the indoor temperature, and now my temporary hold for an hour. If I wanted to reset that, go back to that main screen, I can simply change that temporary hold to zero and now you see the temporary hold is gone. Let's look at vacation settings. Once I'm on vacation settings, I can change my cooling to whatever I need. And that's doing just cooling because I am setting uh, set on just cooling for my mode. If I have heat cool selected, now it shows both. So I can adjust my heating to, I want to have it at 60. And I want my cooling set at 80. Push done. I can go back to up here to schedule and I want to adjust it down to vacation. When I, will I return? That I just set on whether it's month of the 30th or I'm going to return on October 2nd. So now you'll see after I push done it's saying we're on vacation mode our actual temperature and we're going to return on October 2nd of 16. Now I want to change that back to follow schedule. So now it's back to following the schedule. On some systems the T6 allows you to control your humidity levels. Since we're in cooling state your system is dehumidifying. You'll see dehumidify at the bottom. If you want to adjust that and you want to reset your humidity level 
you can do that here. Now, 46 is as low as we can go, but I could allow it to add, well, allow more humidity. But in the summer, it's going to make you more comfortable to get that humidity level as low as possible. If we're trying to adjust humidity level in heating season, you'll now see you're humidifying because typically your home is going to need more humidification. So you can adjust that if you have a humidifier that is tied into your thermostat. That covers most of the basic uh, operations of the T6 programmable thermostat that most homeowners will need. If you have any additional questions, feel free to contact us at 402-467-1111.